Solange was about as serious a painter as you could possibly imagine. Someone who realized from a very early stage that they wanted to be a painter and nothing else. Not an architect, not a designer, but a painter. That really is a complete artist in my view. I would say that Soulage was anti-conformist. He really didn't follow any form of movement, of school of painting. Soulage had one of the longest careers in art history. He had the realization that he could not live without making art and embarked on a career which was successful very, very, very quickly. His arrival on the scene of abstraction in Paris at the time was quite meteoric. He really did hit the ground running. You can look at Jackson Pollock's paintings throughout the 40s and he inches himself into abstraction. Pierre Soulage just went straight in. He was exhibiting at MoMA and the Guggenheim before the age of 35. It happened in France a little bit later. His first main retrospective was not until towards the end of the 60s at the Pompidou. But by then he really was a world famous artist. He really did become one of the leading ambassadors for the French avant-garde scene after the war. La peinture pour un peintre est une une expérience poétique. Quand je commence un tableau, je ne sais pas ce que je vais faire. There is a very strong tension in these paintings. Shapes of black almost fighting together. Nothing was pre-established. It was the emotion and also there is something very physical in Soulage paintings. He was looking at the result of the chemistry almost. He was a great fan of poetry and often aligns the, his practice of painting with that of a poet. A stroke, a gesture and a word are not that different. It was not premeditated. It was just very much from the heart. À mes débuts, quand je suis arrivé à Paris, j'ai voulu acheter des, des pinceaux euh, euh, qui soient qui soient de beaux pinceaux. Alors, je suis allé chez un marchand de couleurs, et moi, ça ne me convenait pas. Very early in his career, it became quite obvious that normal artists' brushes would not serve for the mark making that he wanted to employ. Using all these tools, he creates different surfaces, and all these textures help to catch the light. One day he did this painting which was all covered with black. He realized that this black in fact was perfect to catch the light and where the black is not anymore a color it's almost like a tool itself and so he started a completely new work which called Outre Noir in English Beyond Black. The paintings will change according to the light, the time of the day, the intensity of the light. Soulage was very concerned to involve the viewer in the work. It is this state that he wants people to be in, really wanting them to be part of the work in an almost spiritual way. It was almost a meditation. And I think this is what he means by the whole concept of Outre-Noir in the end. I think he was always experimenting and he was always searching. His work is a constant search towards light. <laughs>